Shot clock down to five. Fade away. Tough shot there and an air ball right out of the gate. It's time for the Bulldogs. You can just see the lane is so clogged right now when Xavier's trying to run offense. Oh, I, I'd agree. I mean, I think the reality is when you look at the non-con performance, leaves a lot to be desired for the Xavier Musketeers. Now, they played a tough schedule as Baldwin gets one to go down. One thing you can't have it happen if you're Xavier is have missing shots impact your energy on this end of the floor. Tough shot along the base. Hucker on the floor, so there's more room for this cat to make some noise on the block and in the paint. Isolation on Bryce Moore. Boy, can he get up when he elevates on that spin move. That's what we need to put it up. <laughs> But, then, but you know, he's got to be aggressive now. He's got to take the right threes, but he's got to look to shoot. I mean, he's really the barometer for Butler. When he plays well, Butler plays well. When he struggles, Butler struggles. Boy, can he take it to the rack now. I mean, for a guy six going to be... It's going to be crazy there. Killers row. I mean, every night, you know... Fade away, tough shot there by ball. We're talking about even as Xavier does 16.14 rebound performance against St. John. Shot clock at two. Bang from downtown for Kamar. Baldwin's got it rolling now. Najee Marshall needs to wipe the slate clean and get ready to guard. Here he comes. I mean, he is just so impressive. Inside out. So we're tied at 29. Tip in goes for the man who missed it. Harder four shot with it to take away. And here comes Baldwin the other way. He's going to go to the rack. And the tip no by McDermott. And it comes away to Enzi. Wide open. Baldwin took a dribble and knocks it down. So you got a lot of work to do here in the final 15 and a half minutes if you're Xavier. Full court pressure, and Baldwin pulls up for three. What a night, Kamar Baldwin working on Gooden. Where he's really tough. He can hit these little fadeaways. And right in the hole. And now, all of a sudden, a chance to go to double figures. This lead for Butler. And Baldwin from 17. Not there. Tip not there. Well, this belongs to Baldwin now. Straight to the rack. 23 in again. And the first Xavier lead since it was 18 to 17 on this 9-0 run. Batten. Clock under 10. And he's defended by Jones. It's a step back jumper. To the rack from Baldwin. Oh my! What a move! For three, way off the mark. Didn't even catch on. He saw in the mid-range. Defended by Marshall. Ten on the shot clock. Tough shot there. And he banks it in for two. And wanting the screen goes the other way. Shot clock at seven. For three. And the lead. Oh, my. Laval Jordan barking out what he wants done here. And that means just give it to the man. The man, the man is Baldwin. Now, if you're Xavier. Shot clock at 11. Marshall defends Baldwin who lets it fly. And it's off the mark. And the read of the other here. And he's got it right now. That's the step back. Here we go. Baldwin pulls up for the game winner. Oh, my. In his third season coaching the Bulldogs. Each coach that came in, Card, has been fabulous. You know, he's done an unbelievable job. Every guy that came in. Dirt already has four rebounds in the game. Good news here for Butler is Derek Smith's on the floor for the first time since February 12th. Got because Butler really packs in their defense in the man to man. Baldwin pulls up from the elbow, and Kamar Baldwin trying to lead Butler. Play much zone, but right now they're in a 2 3 now. Three to shoot, two to shoot. Baldwin pulls up and drills another buzzer beater. This was seven on the boards in Big East play, and they are minus five so far tonight versus the Bulldogs. Yep. And Butler's a terrific rebounding team, as you know. So the ball is 10th. They go on the road, beat Iowa. They go beat 
BC on the road, solid. Right, beat Minnesota, beat Texas Tech. Baldwin hits the two. Going against Bryce Golden, who's six nine and a half. Baldwin crosses over. Baldwin attacking. Boarded, boxing in transition, and now McDermott. Erlington didn't bite the same way. Baldwin attacks, flies in, and one. Come on, Baldwin. And Tucker D's up Figueroa to make that tough. Rebound for Baldwin. Baldwin in transition. Missed it off the window. Carraher. Baldwin cut off by Dunn. Floater won't go. Figueroa has the rebound. And a push it now. 20 in the game. New career high. Average is nine, although this is six straight games and double figure scoring at the end of his freshman year. Kamar Baldwin rattles. Baldwin off the bounce, attacks Williams, high off the glass. Boarded by coverage. A big day for Harrison Burton. First win of his career. And it's time now for college basketball. It's on FS1 next to Paul and Butler. His second, second. Tournament hopes win or lose. They feel like they need this just to get back on the right side of things after being 4-8 in their last 12 games. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's just it. You're 4-8 and eight in your last 12 games. You need to win in the worst way. And here is the competitive Kamar Baldwin just inside the arc, short. Aaron Thompson spinning and kicking. Now Baldwin in the lane and up with that left hand. Job by John Michael Magdo's best is pass the ball. It looked pretty good driving it there. Thompson got lucky there. Shot clock dwindling. And Baldwin another miss, but that. Enzi, kick out, Golden to Baldwin, shot clock at six. Kamar Baldwin will pull in and out. But his buddy McDermott, Weems, that's his first bucket. He's coming off the best two-game stretch he's had all season. 16 against Xavier, 19 against Georgetown. And there's that man, Kamar Baldwin. I love that. And getting inside, kicking it out, great extra pass. There's McDermott. He's had some good looks. Baldwin says, I'll take it. Take it from the wing. Another miss from deep for Butler. You said it, you like this better. Baldwin stepping back. And the defense gets the stop. And he just sat back and listened, and it was all the things that needed to be said. And so Val Jordan just said, you know what? He's got it. <laughs> Coach Aaron. Ten on the shot clock. Kamar Baldwin. Gonna try to go to work. Gets a screen from Enzi from the elbow. Jumper off the heel. And back. <laughs> Brave indeed. Yeah. Baldwin just got one to go down. Good curl. And Baldwin's second opportunity in as many tries. Aaron Thompson. Working it around the Baldwin jumper from the top of the circle is good. A deep on, two. Man. I caught down to ten. Five to shoot. Baldwin step back two is good. Kamar Baldwin heating up. Golden backs it out to Baldwin. Seven for Kamar Baldwin. Little floater is short. And the rebound tipped to Zegger. Defense just then that trip. And they got a decent shot out of it. Nice play here. The kick out. Baldwin for three. Yes. Kamar Baldwin knocks him. Playing man to man, but almost giving the impression that it's a zone on the weak side. Here's Baldwin looking to attack. Flips it up. And it goes in. You know that media timeout is coming, so you get a little extra rest. Shabar Reynolds has checked in, and so far Kevin Willard's gone to the bench. Nine players. There's another one by Baldwin. Kicks it out to McDermott. Extra pass, tipped though by Nelson. And Baldwin will shoot it. He had three seconds left. Baldwin, pull up. Wow. Yeah, missed everything. And he'll look to penetrate with four. Working on Mamu. Step back. Pull back. No good. You know, 
Seton Hall, their only lead was two to nothing in this game. Baldwin. Oh, my! Off the glass. Count it. Oh, good block by Gill. Here's Baldwin with the right hand. The follow by Enzi. 24 years talking about a model of consistency. Here's Baldwin. Turns the right hand and gets the roll. <laughs> That's amazing. Use the glass, and I think he thought someone's going to challenge him. Yeah, and I think Gill got away with one just then, too, offensively. Baldwin misses the three. You got a two-on-one if you hurry. Miles Powell Great. stolen by Kamar Baldwin. And challenged by Powell, and he lays it in and count it. Pirates trying to end the two-game losing streak. Crowd on their feet. Here's Baldwin. Step back. That is him on the floor. 90 seconds to play. Midnight on Baldwin. He'll pull up from deep. Short. Loose ball. Every single minute of the game. Sometimes it's watch what you wish for. You complain you don't get enough minutes. Well, here you go. Yeah. There's a leaner mm -hmm. by Kamar Baldwin. Right here in Indiana, but he's much more than just a three-ball shooter now. He can put it on the deck just like Baldwin. Enzi gets the reap. Baldwin, that little stop and go maneuver. The fadeaway is not a bad shot for him. He likes it. Deck. Baldwin now operating at the point. We mentioned Malloy in just a moment ago. Kamara, that's where he likes it. Right there. And that'll take two mistakes going to his bench. So you alleviate that problem. Yeah. Can't overcoach when nope. you've got no bench to turn to. Baldwin off the bounce. Another rebound. It's a dead ball, so now you get a chance to get your defense set up. So we got to stress the positives yeah. here, Timmy. But Baldwin. Mm. Oh, he's just outstanding. A wonderful reach. I Jimmy could have Baldwin. used him downstairs. I might have gotten to the <laughs> to the to the uh, table last night. Here's Baldwin from downtown. I think that one. And the way they they preach their culture to their team. And it helps that you have veterans. No <laughs> doubt. You know. Well, and what is it? Get old and stay old, right? That's it. Well, Jay Wright's dealing with and this outmanned Georgetown team can't get the second effort to go. Baldwin, who's been silenced for nine and a half, misses that one. Some dribble handoffs to their to their guard teammates. Instead, they're throwing the ball inside, trying to rely on some bigs to do some work down low. It's not working. Well, the offer continues for both Georgetown need. The other side, too. Hey, you got to stay home on the shooters. You can't overhelp. Nice burst. Count the basket. It went in anyway. Get on the contest, the challenge for three, and then to take off. That, that is what you want to teach every player. And also that, the floater. <laughs> Put the offense a little bit quicker while Butler's defense is scrambling, but it's all about getting stops. He averages four and a half. He's got 11 today. Baldwin with a leaner to answer. Baldwin, the offhand again, not there. Uh, with Butler on a tie ball, which is crucial at this time of the game, trailing by three. Baldwin time, high arching off the window, 66 to 60, and the Hoyas can smell it. Well, you still got a, still got a lot to play here now. That ties Allen's career. Baldwin goes to that offhand again and hands it. But uh, Davey got a terrific young freshman. This is his seventh start since Gooden went down prior to the Georgetown game. Baldwin hits oh. the three. Baldwin steps oh. in to relieve that. <laughs> and then a stop for the Butler Bulldogs. Almost got the shot clock violation. Marshall has to heave it late. Baldwin lets it go again. Boarded tonight. The touch. It's Baldwin Jones again. Jones trying to stay in front of Kamar. Baldwin bothered the shot. Well, that's terrific D on off by Jones. Ooh. Nearly poked away by Marshall. Shot clock winding down. Baldwin heaves it. Najee Marshall. Opinion. Now can Butler take advantage? The Baldwin running point pulls up from the elbow. Rolls out, boarded by. Baldwin banging with Gooden. Cut off. Help oh, him! Oh, 
of Tyreek Jones. No help needed. A much better score. Baldwin off the screen from McDermott. Gets the paint. Bothered inside. Fight for the rebound. One by Jones. Here you go. One and a half to go. Try to get to the free throw line if you're Butler. Baldwin running point. Step back. On Gooden. Spins out. Gooden. Reggie Marshall's the best defender for Xavier. Now he's switched. Baldwin with Tandy's hand in his face. Baldwin again. Baldwin, jersey untucked, crossing over on Jones. Step back. Baldwin. Oh! A step in from Baldwin corner. They miss it. With five to shoot, Baldwin goes to work on Jones. Baldwin lost a handle, two to shoot, has to heave it, and that is a shot clock violation. It'll be a big score, but really stabilizes this crew here.
and rolls around the eye. Putting it on the floor there. Very improved player. Baldwin slips, recovers, and finishes. That three from Bailey that you were talking about, Nick. Feels like Marquette's in pretty good flow offensively, though. Baldwin off the back of the iron, and Theo Johns from Kamar. And Howard chasing him down now. Drives it blocked by Theo John. Seven. Howard takes advantage. Averages 28. He's got 26. Baldwin. Got it. In the hall, so. Ultra important to take care of business at home. Baldwin, the step back. Get it. That's why you call timeout. If the play, Butler can take the lead with a three-pointer. Baldwin, tight end. Good. A three. Baldwin for the win. And we're going overtime. At five-minute overtime. Hinkle Fieldhouse in Indianapolis. Vince Welch and Nick Ba with you as Kamar Baldwin gives Butler the advantage. Trying to add to a three-game winning streak. Baldwin steps back again. Your John has to get out there. A little shake and bake from Baldwin. Loses the defender and hits it. McEwen guarding Baldwin, does so well. But it's knocked away and stolen by Baldwin. And if someone else beat you, got to send to uh, Baldwin. Come on, Baldwin. Here's Kamar Baldwin with the shot clock at seven. His jumper is no good. And the rebound grabbed by the freshman, Rob. That was not how you play a screen on Sean McDermott. McDermott misses offensive rebound, Inzi, and back out. Here's Baldwin launching from... ...and get the bounce. Samuel's a 29% shooter, except when there's three minutes to go in the game and they're down. <laughs> then, he's then he's like 100%. <laughs> Baldwin buries a three. And and the rebound to Baldwin. You know, you got to give Baldwin credit. They've done a good job. And you know what? When you give up, that's a tough one. When you one thing, Andrew, if Butler's going to have a chance to win this game, Kamar Baldwin has to play much better than he's playing right now. Misses that shot. Tipped around and grabbed by the freshman. Every time we do a broadcast, somebody remind me of that. I didn't get. I did get a couple of guys, you know. I think I got one right, right here. <laughs> Two minutes to go in the first half. Here's Baldwin. That's what Baldwin is. He's Sports Network as soon as we're done here tonight at St. Joe's against VCU. They won't try that with us. Jeez. Go, go, go. Baldwin. No. Good defense that time. Shot clock at four. Baldwin off balance jumper. Short. Shot clock turned off. He took Sean McDermott out of the game. Bay two for nine in the first half, two for two. So far here in the second as Baldwin comes up short. And the loser. They should start pushing it a little bit because they've done nothing with Villanova's half-court defense. Baldwin inside. And Swatter takes it off the glass. It'll be a really tough game, especially on the road. It tells you about this conference. There are no gimmies. I know we say that a lot, but this year, there's no gimmies. And UConn coming next year. Jordan, he sits down for three, four minutes. He gets his head together. He comes in, he's a different guy. Certainly, that's what Butler's hoping for. They need him as Baldwin hits for two more. Mentioned the guy like eight times. Yeah. Been on camera more than John Austin. Good cut by Baldwin there. And he scores into double figures with 11. That was great moving. Baldwin guarded by Bay. Baldwin, all sorts of moves. Now over Bay. Wow. Tough he, shot. He's a has been trying this play where they get in the lane with one of their guys and he starts foot faking and Butler not falling for it now. Baldwin feeling it. Two more. And Jay Wright run for Villanova. Here's Baldwin from the free throw line. And shot clock at six. 
Baldwin tightly guarded by Samuels. Baldwin with one on the shot clock. No. And it goes out of bounds. Step up. Great steal by Baldwin. Pick Gillespie's pocket. That was a great steal. They'll be 30 and 1 against the Big East in this building since 2013. That's pretty good home court. And yeah, not bad. <laughs> That'll work as Baldwin <laughs> scores two more. Of our game. Final 40 seconds. Baldwin deep three. A great three point shooting team, so defense has played them accordingly. With good feet underneath, and it looked like Bryce, you can get a better one than that. I mean, again, Travis Steele has been on his team about shot selection since November. Big fake move there by Top. And they switch it. What a pass, and Enzi will finish. And catching and going, but also with his footwork for the setups. Played three and a nice half. Back door. Yep. And McDonough. That's a goaltending. Tucker cut the back door. Missed it. How it through the years has come from that part of this state that appreciates and loves basketball so much. Enzi in traffic is rejected for that basketball. Get something high quality, high percentage. The left battle is coming onto the floor, number four in white. Freshman from Edison, New Jersey. And some work inside. Guarded by Scruggs, a defensive stopper for Xavier. Tough task all night for Scruggs. Inside, Golden Jones thought a part of this Butler Bulldog team because now all of a sudden you got Kamal Baldwin have to play point guard and he loses some of his scoring. But the floor. Get a piece of the paint and be under control to turn and find somebody on the three-point line. To the basket. And it will go both ways. He's left-handed, but he can go left and right. Oh, they're really forcing that shot. And they kick it to Badley. Hit a three a moment ago. He has two of them. And they switch it. What a pass. And Enzi will finish. What a pass, Bob. It's Baldwin comes away with it. Baldwin, no look. Tucker in the corner. Four, three, off a great Harrison Burton. First win of his career. And it's time now for college basketball. It's on FS1 next to Paul and Butler. His second. All right, thank you, Adam. We want to welcome everybody who was watching the NASCAR race as now our coverage is nationwide here on FS1 with Butler. Romaro Gill also yeah. on that list from Seton Hall. Those were the two representatives of the Big East. McDermott again. Well, if you leave him open, he just it's the fader. Here's Baldwin, one on two. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, look inside, fella. He found Bryce Golden for the basket. You as a team. And when Butler looks in the mirror, they need to see a defensive-minded team. And that's what they've been here tonight. It's a good little back pick from Enzi frees up time. And he died of post touches for the Butler Bigs. Baldwin leaving for McDermott. His three up and down. Boy, turnovers, none for Creighton. Five Creighton steals. A couple of games ago against DePaul, they had 18 steals as Badley hits the three. Henry Badley four with his left hand as a power left-handed player. And you get the big guy out front now. Should be able to get the shot. There you go. And he knocks it down. Swish by goal. Of the season, not only catching and going, but also with his footwork for the setups. Played three and a nice half. Nice back door. Yep. And McDermott. That's a goaltending. Oh, that was a good find. Here's Baldwin now, and they'll set things up. Five on the shot clock. Nice pass. There he'll take it. Golden. There you go. Simple, isn't it? It's a simple game. Been over three minutes since Butler has scored. Oh, wide open. Good cut. Enzi dunks it on Gill and looks at it. 
How about from our Baldwin? He's got a two on one. Watch this. There you go. Gives it up. Thompson lays it in. And Kevin Willis, but missed it. Huge. Got to come down and answer. You can go to the basket, though. Tucker, quarter three. Yes! Well, he's their three point shooter. the strength of the Big East Conference but nevertheless at this point you don't want to you don't want to put your fate in the hands of some one bid lead your feet take charges got to be aware of that if you're Najee Marshall there he goes taking it to the basket and he draws a foul on the scoreboard and he tried to ignite this offense it's of Xavier basketball Xavier down one. Marshall with a basketball pulls up from 12. <laughs> Led this one by as many as eight of five now at Butler. Exactly. Making good shots. Hitting the guys that are. The ball moved from side to side and then penetrated. There's the penetration, and there's the fourth block of the night for Baldwin. So he recognized the kill on the switch, did not come out to guard him. Good reach in by Baldwin, and it. This, this set or the next set. McKnight. Shot blocked by Enzi in the first half. That's the, the genius of Kevin Willard adjustments. Quincy McKnight. Hey! And kisses it off. It's credit to these kids who know they've got to play a ton of minutes today. Only five scholarship players available. Allen does finish with something else over there with a very, very young team. By his standards especially. Yeah, and this Butler team is much different because they have those veterans. Athletic ability to get something closer to the basket. Wahab trying to get through the double team.
Misses again. He hasn't hit one yet tonight. 0 for 3. Meanwhile, coast to coast. How about Baldwin with a swat on one inside? Got his own miss. He's fallen out of bounds and somehow found Coleman lands, but there's Kamar Baldwin. The ball moved from side to side and then penetrated. There's the penetration, and there's the fourth block of the night for Baldwin. A half and came back to win a game. So now trailing at the half again. They were 0-8 when trailing at the half came back. There's Baldwin with a block. Jones draws the D. Marshall covered up by Batley. Marshall in tight contact. Play on What's again. Going on? What's going on with that? Good, and it's Mosley for the rebound. Yeah, push it. Pushes it to Allen. McClung is up there, and it's blocked by Baldwin. George for the Big East Conference Tournament that will begin Wednesday. You see it all on FS1 and Fox. And Marshall will go to feed, take charges. Got to be aware of that if you're Najee Marshall. There he goes, taking it to the basket. And he draws the foul. And I just don't think we can say it enough about, uh, you, you know, the, the feeling around these parts. And they have a great thing. Andy to the basket. Strong move. Well done. Nine on the scoreboard. Andy trying to ignite this offense. Xavier down one. Marshall with the basketball. Pulls up from 12. Tip 15 to play. Xavier a chance to win it on senior night. And the junior Marshall to the basket. He got five. Led this one by as many as eight of five now at Butler. Exactly. Making good shots. Hitting the guys that are in pay. The senior night from Anderson. Baldwin gets the block. The York DePaul yet to hit a three-pointer, but they've only put up three of them. Lopez, quick off the dribble. That was really nice from Oscar Lopez. Beautiful. Rebounds, a couple of steals. He's doing a little bit of everything. Coleman lands in the traffic. Made a ball move from side to side and then penetrated. 
There's the penetration, and there's the fourth block of the night for Baldwin. <laughs> Did it look like me at the Y on a Sunday morning? Flynn Cameron with his first basket of the night. He'll check in, seeing his first action. So it'll be interesting to see how Carroll plays. McKnight. Reach in, but if you're seat hall right now, try to find a good shot. Get this man hot. Yep. Fades that one off the front of the rim. Yep. This, this set or the next set. McKnight. Shot blocked by Enzi. Relation out front with the high screen secondary. Skip pass. McKnight drives the baseline. Use the glass. In the first half. That's the, the genius of Kevin Willard. Adjustments. Quincy McKnight. Hey, and kisses it off. Ooh, Miss McKnight going to the, the cup. Miles Powell will go to the line. Got to play at a pretty good pace. You get in a half-court game with Butler, and they're just so good at home. Blair on a dribble drive using the window. Oh, it's been terrific for Georgetown. Off the catch. They're not holding on to the basketball. And just relentlessly attacking that time. Credit to these kids who know they've got to play a ton of minutes today. Only five scholarship players available. Allen does finish. Holtman falling into their laps. And then this guy who's kept it going after the remarkable run by Brad Stevens. Jones draws the D. Marshall covered up by Batley. Marshall in tight contact. Play on it again. What's going on with that? Johnson not.
who has come on strong as a freshman and good for three. That's not his shot. He has struggled shooting from downtown all year. Gooden again. And again off the mark. This time to the Bulldogs. You can do special. And he's... He can go both ways. He's left-handed, but he can go left and right. Oh, they're really forcing that shot. See Carter, especially if there's some post-up situations. Andy trying to ignite this offense. And just can't get the roll. And now all of a sudden a chance to candy for three. And that there, that would have set this crowd into a frenzy. Instead, it's Baldwin. Erlington off the bounce. In tight on Inzi. Inzi gets the block. Here's Baldwin. The senior night from Anderson. Baldwin gets the block. Running Butler. He back out Figueroa. Aaron Thompson, great job on Champagne. And then Tucker D's up Figueroa to make that tough. Rebound for Baldwin. Another fight for the rebound. Erlington misses the second chance. Baldwin comes away with it. Uh, point there from Laval Jordan to Baldwin gets that rebound, and that's coverage. A big day for Harrison Burton. First win of his career, and it's time now for college basketball. Tournament hopes win or lose. They feel like they need this just to get back on the right side of things after being four and eight in their last 12 games. They absolutely yet tonight. 0 for three. Meanwhile, coast to coast. How about Baldwin with a swat on Darius Hall? Or Butler. Long three. DePaul still has not hit one. Inside of two minutes left in the first. Butts gets it. Whoa, he tried to throw that down over McDermott. No call. Butler comes away. Ball pinballs in the air, and Baldwin saves it. It's uh, Nick to feel like if Xavier were to lose tonight, shot clock down to three. Marshall's just going to have to chuck it up for nearly half court. And that will be... And they dump it down low to Tyreek. Marshall for three. Still offense. Neither team can find much rhythm right now. Jones put it on the floor in traffic. Good and again. He's at one of four from Xavier basketball. Three and that there, that would have said, What a player! What a player! Kennedy for three on the kick from Marshall. Marshall lays it off for Jones. It's been a two man game along with spots from Carter. That's not a good shot back. Rutherford's gonna take it. Spent. Jones with the screen for Zagorowski. Now Tyshawn Alexander. His three just off. What do you think about their start here thus far? Uh, I'm, I think I think I go along with. Oh, there's a hit. He's going to go to the line there for Powell. He's in double figures with the 11. Here's Powell for three. In and out. Pretty Inzi with the bunny at the goal off the baseline inbound. I try to dunk that. An athlete. Scruggs steps into it. Scruggs drills it. Hands of Marshall. Xavier on the run, down by nine. Fremantle in tight. Jones, kick out. Marshall three. Marshall with a big seconds. Desperation time. Scruggs heaves it. Jones has the rebound. And now Marshall with the seconds ticking away. At count. Go. And the rebound tipped out to Marquette. Sakar and a.
Marshall to the basket. He got fouled, and it'll go. Impey. The senior night from Anderson. Baldwin gets the block. Got to play at a pretty good pace. You're getting a half-court game with Butler, and they're just so good at home. Blair on a dribble drive Ooh. using the window. Oh, Johnson, not...
five rebounds, a couple of steals. He's doing a little bit of everything. Coleman lands in the traffic. What do you think about their start here thus far? Uh, I'm, I think I think I go along with. Oh, there's a hit. He's going to go to the line there for Powell. He's in double figures with the 11. Here's Powell for three. In and out. Miles Powell Great. stolen by Kamar Baldwin and challenged by Powell. Bring Kiki Tandy more of a true point guard off the bench for Xavier, and he's been playing great. Turnover, Baldwin takes it away. But the rebound, he's been solid. They haven't turned the ball over.
uh, with you. A game that Butler feels like, even if it doesn't help their NCAA tournament hopes winner. They bring Kiki Tandy more of a true point guard off the bench for Xavier, and he's been playing great. Turnover, Baldwin takes it away. That's Jefferson. Pushes into the corner. Bala, good feed to Jefferson, but Baldwin's hands better. He takes it away. What a rip. How about from our Baldwin? He's got a two-on-one. Watch this. There you go. Getting that the Blue Demons need. Paul Reed out with that hip injury. Baldwin doing everything. If they call that a block, Mar Baldwin flexes his formidable muscle. Sakar Anna lost it on the way inside. And Baldwin comes up with it. He averages almost 13. Of Back into the game, Oscar Lopez. And there again, defensively, is Kamar Baldwin. Adrenaline. Duke. Knocked away and stolen by Baldwin. The dish. The Fieldhouse in Indianapolis. Providence and Butler. The Biggies clash as the Bulldogs take it away. Amazing touch from Enzi. He's got six now. There's another DePaul turnover. Make it 17. Miles Powell Great. stolen by Kamar Baldwin. And